1.5 million Armenians were marched away from their homes, perpetrated by the Ottoman Turks. These people systematically butchered Armenians, and yet Turkey to this day continues to deny it. The Armenian genocide is the biggest pain which is present in the heart of every single Armenian as most of us are descendants of the singular survivors, myself included. The destruction of a whole race, the attempted annihilation of the Armenians, particularly those in the Anatolian provinces, what is today is Turkey. 20 years or 200 years. This will never be forgotten. Never, ever. Today we have genocides happening and you've got to think, what is the cause? People are getting away with it and that's because 100 years ago they got away with a murder of 1.5 million and the repercussions inspires further generations today. We should all ask about human rights. It's not about the Armenians or Jewish or Arabs or whoever it is. We should not deny such thing because it, this should not happen in anywhere for anyone. Turkey, Turkey tries to hide. Turkey, Turkey tries to hide. 1915 genocide. 1915 genocide. Dirty Turkey tries to hide. Turkey, Turkey tries to hide. 1915 genocide. 1915 genocide. The numbers have doubled what they usually are, and we're giving out leaflets to passers-by. People are very interested because this is not a topic that they teach in school. It's not in the syllabus, um, but it is very, very important. It's the first genocide of the century. I feel proud of everyone that's come out to support our cause, Armenians and non-Armenians. The time has come for recognition to finally be ours. Shame on Turkey! Shame on Turkey! We're a small amount of Armenians in the UK, but power in numbers. There's people here that are having difficulty walking, there's young babies here. But we all know about the genocide. It's now a case of you know educating the, the people that aren't aware of it. From death, there can always be life. Life will continue. The genocide did not succeed in annihilating the Armenians. It did not kill the spirit of the Armenians. We will always fight it, irrespective of what government or legal aspects think of it. Jeffrey Robertson himself actually said, you can still actually have a claim even beyond the 100 years. 100 years later, we're sending a very powerful message to the world. We're still alive, we're still here. We're so grateful for all the people who helped save all the lives, our ancestors, our great-grandfathers, our grandfathers, our grandmothers, and we're here to tell the story and continue the legacy. years means to me a period of silence and denial not only from Turkey but from countries like Britain that are too scared to use the word genocide. They're scared of uh, angering one of their allies. 2015 people say that genocide happened in 1915 it should be consigned to the waste bin of history we shouldn't be talking about it well I think much to the contrary you see ISIS in 2015 who are killing people marching them out of their homes just like the Turks did in 1915 to the Armenians. I believe that Erdogan and all of the people in the Turkish government are doing a disjustice to us and a disjustice to humanity. It's not just about Armenians that you see here today. It's not just about the people who have got the flags wrapped around their necks. It's much more, much more deeper than that. It's about loving your neighbours as people, not as people who have a race tied towards them. Shame on Turkey! Shame on Turkey! Shame on Turkey! Shame on Turkey! Hayır mer vor herkinas yes sur teritianu ko yeges te arkai chun ko yevitin gam ko vor bes herkinas yev herkin az has mer hana bazor dur mezai sor yev tog mezis partis mer vor bes yev meng tog merot sparda banat yev midanil az mezi portuchun ay per gaz mezi charem a genocide which up to today, up to now, is unfortunately denied by the Turkish state and by the British government, who is unfortunately failing to recognize the Armenian genocide. 
We have carried all the flags of the countries that have recognized the Armenian genocide with pride and with gratitude. And we very much hope that the British government will end its denial of the Armenian genocide, will end fighting with the aggressor and with the perpetrator, and will recognize the Armenian genocide, so we'll be able to carry the Union Jack with pride with us next year. I hear that the reason why my grandmother is in Syria or the reason why my parents had to move to Sweden all stems from one cause and that was my great grandparents having to walk through the desert because they were kicked out of their homes so there's a sadness that follows your life history and your family tree. My grandfather's stories which uh, were terrible you know and as a child you were affected unspeakable things that happen to the children and the young girls which it stays with you it doesn't go away personally for me i remember my great grandmother always on the 24th i have her face in front of my eyes and i can imagine that lots of people have the same disregarding it's recognized or not it is the truth we will always follow that truth I feel that in today's day and age, media plays a very big role in spreading the word. So I think it's definitely really helped everyone have a better understanding of what Armenia is and what the problem is and what really we're here now for today. The new and younger generations have really done a lot. I think whether it's through music, through art or through social media, we are the closest we've ever been. I think a recognition is in the very near future. Der hishya pura vor nahadagat azgis hayot voron goderatan hamash harain arachi badirazmian tatskin Hishia havur mezikal stian arkayutyanko Aijem yev misht yev havidyanas havidenits amen We've got to accept the events of 1915, because if we don't, the cycle of genocide will continue to reoccur. We've seen it in Rwanda, we've seen it in Darfur, we saw it during the Nazi regime in Germany. And if we don't stop and say for one second, yes, genocide is a problem, and we need to internationally recognise it, then the cycle will continue, continue, until one day we get into a very dangerous, dangerous part of our humanity.
child. 